As I insert the pen into the field, you can see two things change. The peak decreases a little, and this rippling pattern appears on the tail of the waveform. What we're seeing here is the pen absorbing some of the energy from that peak, then re-releasing it at a specific frequency. The simplest circuit you can build that exhibits this behavior is just an inductor and a capacitor in parallel. You sometimes see this called an LC circuit or an LC tank. It acts a bit like an electric pendulum. The inductor transforms a changing magnetic field into an electric current. The capacitor then stores that electric potential, releasing it again as a current which generates a magnetic field and so on. The rate of this oscillation between magnetic and electric potential is controlled by both the inductance and the capacitance of the components. In this case, I'm changing the capacitance by turning a variable capacitor made from many partially overlapping plates. On this board, I'm using multiple capacitors in parallel just to achieve a more useful range of adjustment. These LC oscillators are very sensitive to changes in component values. Just a small difference in capacitance can change the frequency by tens of kilohertz. So it's usually necessary to include some way of adjusting either the inductor or the capacitor so that the circuit efficiently operates at the frequency you want. It turns out that this tuned circuit is actually all you need for the Wacom tablet to detect the position of a pen. If this capacitor is adjusted too far out of the sweet spot, then the tablet doesn't detect this. But if it oscillates anywhere near 750 kilohertz, then the Wacom Bamboo Fun tablet detects this as a pen and it reliably measures the position.